All right, YouTube, we're back for another league. Let's jump back in. Had an unfortunate 2-3 to the last one. Lost to Infect. We, we, we didn't really play. It was kind of a rough league, to be honest. We Like, our, our first match, our first round wasn't that great. Like, I just kept a hand that was, like, good against not an Aether Vile deck, and it was an Aether Vile deck in the dark. So, it was kind of a rough, rough league for the home team. Hopefully, this one's better. But we got plenty of people in the chat today. I appreciate you all for hanging out. The 5-0 would be D's. Would be D's. All of you in this chat, I would appreciate it if you all hit the follow button so you can see when I go live. And also, the best way for you to support me is to head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel. They've been blowing up there recently. I think I'm up to almost 650 subscribers. Hi, Dylan. How much do you spend on MGO? Like, if I want to do the competitive scene, like you do, and play some leads, how much I have to spend. So, so, it depends what you, so Wang Chung, if you want to buy cards, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to play standard, do you want to rent cards, do you want to own the format, like, it's all about your goals. Moto is not as expensive to get into as it used to be. All right, we'll heat this hand. Could be in trouble, but I don't think we can mulligan a hand like this. Uh, opponent mulligan's nice. Um, I think once you like, I don't know how I feel like to you brother. So the premier, the I think the premier fair deck right now in the format is Grex's Shadow. I think it's better than Jund. It's more popular. Um. And the card that you want for that mid-range matchup is Liliana the Veil. And I also just don't think Liliana Last Hope is that good at the moment. It's not as expensive deck I want to play in modern. Well, it used to be a lot more than that. Yeah, so I go infinite. I like I go infinite when playing Moto. Um sometimes we're going to bobble here, see what we want to do. Um, sometimes I, like, cash out of my tickets, and then I run low, like, right now. Or if I'm playing a new format, like, I will tend to burn tickets. We're gonna have to keep that against the Scalding Tarn deck. Um, but, uh, how do I say this? Um, I think you, you have to, like, I, I took my lumps to start. When I first started playing Moto because of the... Um, the, uh, the program and all that stuff, like, I definitely lost, you know, it, it probably, my first year of Moto, I probably, because I also bought cards, I probably invested, like, $1,000 in my first year of Moto. Yes. You are right there. Okay, yield through this turn. You are right there. All right. So, I guess... Let me go get... I think I'm thought seizing no matter what here. And I'm going to start off with a thought seize in case my opponent doesn't have anything to kill my shadow. I'm just going to take this... I'm just going to take this thing, stub this Manamorphose. Then pass. I think if you, I think if you just play Moto, or not just play Moto, um, I'm in a lot of trouble here, by the way, in this game. I think if you just sit there and play Moto, and like pay attention, then you'll do fine. Swifty. That's what they do. Put a card on the bottom. We're getting cracked for one. Okay. I'm in so much trouble. So we know their hand. Um, we're going to end up bolting this. I think we have to Serum Visions off of this. Because we can't stop the Manamorphos. Unless we hit like a Street Wraith. 
None of these cards are that good. We need a fatal push. So we're gonna put these on the bottom. I'm going to play this. I'm gonna bolt this right now before they can prowess it. But we're in a lot of trouble here. I can't beat the thing in the ice. So like I have a lot of other problems. I need to find a fatal push. I need to find a fatal push so that I can deal with, have my Snapcaster Mage trade with this. But maybe I should have, yeah, I actually, I should have snapped Thoughtseize because I have another Snapcaster. I'm in a lot of trouble either way. I think, I think that maybe I should have thought that turn out a little more. Heal through this turn. Do we find a count? Like, if we can grow the shadow. Okay, so that's step one. Okay, so we didn't hit anything. I'm going to cycle this. I've done that before. All right, let's check out our top card here. All right, it's a steam vent. I would like to not have to. We're going to attack. They want to. I'm going to fetch anyways. And I'm going to fetch on my upkeep. So if I hit a push, that revolt is turned on. I'm going to be pretty liberal with my counter spells here. Like, and I think we're just going to get a swamp. Another Snapcaster Mage is no bueno. <clears throat> Your grace is better than the mirrors. Um, I don't see clear advantage over four color. Goyf is also bigger. So Tarma Goyf is really good right now in the format. Oh, they got the breeding pool for probably an ancient grudge. It's a good, good little thing to add. Um, I really like the four color deck because Tarma Wife. So if I snap Thoughtseize, hang on. Snap Thoughtseize puts me to six. Doesn't really do it. I can go to 10. I can do 10 damage to myself. Yeah, I think it's better to just snap, discard, spell anything at this point. And I can flash in a Snapcaster Mage. And if, like, if they flip the thing, they lose this. The four-color deck was really good a little while ago. But the more that I played it... Uh, but then Grixis won a GP. Respect Battle Rage. Come on. Nice. Okay, now we are. Now I want to like Snapcaster. Do nothing. Dude, I love it when people play around Battle Rage when you don't have it. And I'm just like, again, like I said, I'm going to be pretty liberal with this. Okay. I'm going to snap Thought Scout at the end of my turn. This card's so cool. I played this card a bit a while in Standard and really enjoyed it. Our opponent appears to be flooding a tad. And I'm going to turn this Snapcaster Mage sideways as well because it turns on my lightning bolt. I don't really know why they blocked there. Okay. 
They only have one card and okay. How do we lose? We lose by going to three. I don't even think we lose with that, to be honest. That block wouldn't have saved them for TBR. You can patch out to five, try to win eight, eight. Turn off all the yields, make sure they're not. Yeah. Again, I think people play around Battle Rage way too much. Like, you should just be okay. Like, just die to Battle Rage. The nice thing here is we get to play around, like, Mana Morphos into a spell also. Because we'll just stub the Mana Morphos if my opponent has that to try to bounce all of our stuff. Got him. So there's really, there's two different ways that I like to sideboard with this deck. Because sometimes they, like, there's two different configurations, I guess. Sometimes they cut, sometimes they stay low to the ground. And if they stay low to the ground, I like to cut my Snapcaster Mages. But if they go big and they cut their Monastery Swift Spears, I like to cut Lightning Bolts. So I like to sideboard by taking either these out or by uh, sideboarding like this. Because if they go big, I don't want Battle Rage. Because we can just grind them out of the game. And it all depends on how they sideboard, which I don't really know. On the draw, I like to hedge for them being aggressive and being able to kill a Swift Spear. So I tend to cut these. Like, th this is how I tend to sideboard in the dark. Because sometimes, like, Snapcaster Mage was very good in that game because the game went long. But the games don't always go that long. Like, most of the time, it's just, like, we interact on a key turn, shut them down, land a threat, and kill them. Well, Veil's not that great against Arclight Phoenix, right? And, like, I can understand maybe Liliana the Veil on the play. When you can edict a thing in the ice. I still don't think it's great, but it's more it's much more that's what that's just the like how Liliana um um that's how it Liliana the Veil tends to work, where it's just better on the play. So we're gonna sideboard like this because we're on the draw, but we're willing to board back in our Snapcaster Mages. Well, they've got Monastery Swift Spear also, and it kills um just a normally cast whatever it is. Arclight Phoenix, we're going to keep this hand. It's not great, but it's pretty good. Because you do want a critical mass removal. Because you have to be able to answer Crackling Drake, Monastery Swift Spear, and Thing in the Ice. Sometimes they board out their Swift Spears. And if they board out their Swift Spears, then I like to board my Bolts out. But if they keep, that, if they keep Swift Spears in, I think Bolt's important. It's a little cat and mouse game. Because I've had people try to go over the top of me and people try to go under me. Yeah. So we're going to push this bad boy on our first turn. And we're probably going to do a main phase. I don't want to play into a dispel. Uh, we're still just going to do this on our main phase. There's no sense to get cute. Our opponent's mulliganed. Let's just not get browned. I wouldn't mind stubbing this, but they could just go land, and then we're in trouble. I think it's about how they sideboard, right? I mean, the lightning bolts look pretty good right now. Uh, I, think, I think that there's two different schools of sideboarding. I would like to be able to stub this, but if they just go land and then, like, hold up, then it, it just kind of sucks. Yeah, I think Snapcasters is, is not good against the aggressive deck. Like, obviously the game stalled out last game to a point where Snapcaster Mage won us the game. But if those Snapcaster Mages would have been anything, okay, we got, we got that covered, which is nice. All right, we're going to take a look at our top card. 
That's not bad either. Now I just kind of want to go dismember, discard spell. Let's take a look at our top card. We're looking for a shadow or an angler. That's we're gonna be able to get nasty. All right, we're just gonna get rid of the creature. We leave ourselves a little open to, uh, to getting Phoenix this turn, but if we can make it out of this turn, we're in pretty good shape. No, they don't run Blood Moon. Next turn, I can go fetch a basic swamp and then go like Serum Visions into the Ditch Two Lands. All right, let's forget our swamp. Um, I guess we want to be able to cast Lightning Bolt if we draw it. It's not bad. Um, we probably want this Fatal Push. We don't need Delta, Bobble, Land, Delta. Uh, Thoughtseize has probably worn out its favor. We can get rid of a push because we have another one coming. Serum Visions. You don't say. I'm gonna stub this because they they like I don't want them to um, I don't know. See, Vision is just their best cantrip. It's the best way to get going, I think. Okay, let's now go like this so we can have all of our spells open to us. We're gonna put this on the bottom. We're gonna put this on top. And they can't. They couldn't cast lightning axe there, which is what I was also very up on. Uh, yield until next end step. So we're going to cycle this, bolt them, untap, and battle rage. Just bang. They only have one card, so I don't really see how this goes too poorly for us. I hear Philly making noise out there, so I'm going to go check on that while we wait for the next round. Good day. Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. All right. Uh, put this on here. Back up. Hey, Philly boy. What are you doing in here, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Phil's been having some problems where he's regressing. He's like, he ate a bunch of wrapping paper, which I was not happy with. I was saying it's really good. You got to turn two shadow, a couple cantrips, opponent mulligan. The best thing to do when somebody mulligans is to thought seize them. Probably play the land there just because of spell pairs. So I'm not sure if you need a card. Oh, you're right. Yeah, if we were if we were like one hundred percent above the rim, that was the thing to do. They mold a five. All right, that's not a good draw. I'm gonna go get blood crypt. No, I'm gonna get watery grave. We have a lot of blue spells. It doesn't really matter. We have enough lands to do whatever we want. Yeah, he's been like, he's not been great. He he's been eating a bunch of stuff. So, I think we're playing. Did we play against this guy? We're playing either against Bant Spirits, Boggles. He's just been a jerk lately, which is annoying. So we're playing against Bant Spirits, Boggles, or Infect. Give me one second.
Maybe. What do we want to hedge for? All right, I'm gonna board like it's a creature deck, and I'll die. I'll die on that hill. How's it going, Andy? We're gonna go like this. Sort by converted mana cost, and we will submit our deck. And if they play Boggles, then like, you know, we get browned. Oh, uh, this hand's not great. Playing a lot of arena. Dude, arena's sweet. I actually Skyped with my brother yesterday and completed his, uh, his, uh, whatever, his, like, daily goals with him. I think I want a mulligan. We don't have a threat. We don't have a removal spell. If we're playing against a creature deck, we should, we should, like, play towards that. This is awful because, like, I probably have to. Okay, we're playing against Boggles, and we we said this could happen to us. Now I don't even really care about this lava mancer, so we're just gonna get watery grave. Yeah. Like, we're going to get browned by the old Slippery Boy here. All right, open the armory, Slippery. Might as well just take this Daybreak Coronet. This Daybreak Coronet here. That open the armory is going to be another Daybreak Coronet, but at least we can, like, make them waste their mana to go get it. Yeah, we're about to get taken to Slip and Slide Town here. Can we get that F8 on? Oh, they hit the land too. Even though it doesn't, it's a bad land. Oh, nice. All right, let's take this open the armory because it turns into a daybreak coronet. The creatures are whatever. Like, we're going to win this game by drawing Death Shadow and then Red Land Battle Rage in our next however many draws. And if we don't do that, we're not going to win. But, like, such is life. Uh, let's check out our top card here. Street Wraith. We don't want a Street Wraith. Yeah, it's going to be a real rough. It's going to be a tough one. Tough game for the home team. But we get the sideboard knowing what's up. We have to bring it. We have Liliana the Veil on our sideboard, which is, you know, the nut. Four, five. So we're just dead because we, we can't block this next turn even if we draw. No, I guess. No, we're dead because we can't draw. Sh well, we can block this. We can draw a shadow. I can draw. I can like play Snapcaster Mage, but I don't, I don't really want to do that. I ain't about that life. And we made a good, con good concession from our opponent, right? Okay, so we want these come in. We cut these. Cut my spot removal. I like to keep lightning bolt to be able to bolt myself and be able to bolt whatever it is we need to. Um, we don't need these lava mans. We just bring in veils, and that's pretty much what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, to some people, like, they gain their entertainment from magic from winning, and, like, that's a boggles deck. All right, we're going to keep this. So out of these decks, if you played, invest, grind one, you would choose Orgov, Ojazi, Kosh, Jazzy, Mongrel, John, or Blue, White, Ogre. Ideally, I would like to play Rocker Abzan version. Rock, but not really. Right. It's like, Dave, there's a really unfortunate thing about Moto where, like, if you don't, if you play a deck, like, you want to play Tron out of all of those. Play Tron. Yeah, you, you said Tron. Okay. Yeah, Tron's a very good deck. Okay, and we just hope that there's not... Even if there's a Ley Line, we can play a turn two Shadow. 
Okay. There's a big brain question here is if we discard spell ourselves. The answer is no. Because if we discard spell or snapcaster mage. It is just another like a snapcaster mage. Uh, snapcaster mage might do something. So let's just because I'm I was worried about like trying to find a way to play a quicker um to play a quicker Gurmag angler, and that would add two cards to our delt. Oh man, we're gonna do it. Blood crypt. Yeah, Storm is really cheap, and Storm's good. Rut row. I'm going to attack. Because, like, if my opponent... If I can trade a core, a core Spirit Dancer for a Battle Rage, I'll do that. Maybe this was stupid. Yeah, this was just stupid. I should have like I should have thought about my life more. I think we just take this trade. And then I'm just gonna flash Snapcaster Mage in the end of the turn. I mean the nice thing is my opponent attacks me. Like I should I probably just have to save my battle rage for when it wins me the game. They won't ban Metamorphose. That was a stupid attack, though. I just went, like, full dirt mode there. Now we can't win! Yeah, I tossed. I just 100% tossed this game. This was just, like, uber stupid on my part. Yeah, this was just not good. Yield, three, yield until next time. Stop. Yeah, I was. This was stupid. I don't even think I fetched the right land off of that path. All right. The problem with this is now I can't delve and have stubborn denial up. But whatever. I I play this like a complete asshole. No, Tron will always be good. I think Growth Spiral is going to see play in, in, uh, in Modern. All right, six. Am I dead? I don't think I play. I did not play this game very well. Yeah, I did. I didn't. I didn't play this game very well, and like, I'm gonna lose because of it, which I deserve to lose. If you don't play a game very well, you deserve to lose. So we don't actually have an out to this. Maybe my opponent won't block. Hmm. That's interesting. It's actually kind of an interesting decision for our opponent to block or not here because, because of engineered explosives. But I guess we can't even explosives. We have to go land. So I shouldn't have cycled my Street Wraith. To give myself the best chance to win there, I shouldn't have cycled Street Wraith because I could go EE. Um, 
I could have gone EE -E after combat if they block. Well, the team makes sense, right? Because they're worried about engineered explosives. But, like, my best play would have been just to attack. But, like, again, I was frustrated and I, I just tossed that. I played like a dumbass. But I really wanted to attack with my Death Shadow. I really, like, I hoped that they were going to, I could get the whatever off the board. But I ended up, like, making it so I couldn't win. Because I, I, I had to lose it. I had to get rid of a Shadow. And my battle rage did nothing. Alright, well this is one of those like linear hands that hopefully does it for us. I'm sure they have a bunch of cards that are slow and they don't need though, right? No, you don't need those. This is like a full linear hand. Okay. Alright. Watery Grave. Thought sees you. Alright, we're going to get rid of this thing. Oh man. The old thought sees bug. <clears throat> So we know their hand. All right, you got it. You got it. Milda Phoenix. Uh oh. We're super dead. So they have gut shot. Oh, I guess. No, we're super dead because they're going to flip this. We got browned. Can you flip it? Wow, they can't flip it. It's a really good play by my opponent to not attack here. Like I'm, I'm not even I'm not even kidding. Like if they just sit back, it's I think it's a, I think it's a very good play. Wow, we might we might do it. Uh Should pass. They have to put up. They need at least one blocker. They have to return a Phoenix. This turned around. They need basically two Phyrexian mana spells here to not just die on the spot. Um.
just get you. That I did not think I was going to win that game. So again, we're going to board like we said we were going to last time. And we're going to hedge this way. If they go big, then we can switch. But I think on the draw, we just want all of our removal just to not die there. Thank you for the raid there, Bonzi MTG. Well, attacking with all is bad too, right? Because then we just get to eat the Swift Spear. I think the best play was to just not attack. I kind of want the second bolt, actually. I want this third bolt. I don't think I boarded it in last time, but I think I should have. I just don't want to get run over in the early game. Because I think I think that we're gonna like I think our disruption's good enough to where we can we can handle them as long as we don't get like nutted, which like we almost got nutted last game. Um I'm gonna keep this. The, the game slow down a little bit after sideboard. I I save them and then sell them. But they're they're like not worth as much as they used to be, unfortunately. That was a nice draw. This is likely a steam vents here. Yeah. They honestly they kind of ran bad. The fact that they, they have Bedlam Riddler. So this is a version of the deck that looks like where Leyline would be good against. If my opponent gets a place thing in the ice, there's Swifty. Okay. I think I'm gonna bolt this. Yeah, I'm gonna get no, I'm gonna get Blood Crypt. Yeah, I'm gonna get Blood Crypt and bolt this. I'm gonna take the damage though. Actually, I should do it before because if they go to dispel it, they're gonna deal with me two more damage, which means I can play my shadows next turn. Do I dispel? Hit me. I can't play my shadows next turn. Oops. Nope, nope. Because I don't have another fetch land. I thought this was a fetch land. If this was a fetch land, I would go from 15 to 12. All right, that's nice. So there's no need to play this super aggressively. We're just going to bolt this, get this out of here, and then pass. Thoughts go. Okay. Another thing. Spell Snare. So they look like they're a bigger deck. They have Spell Snare in. Okay. They don't have any Phoenixes. So this is this is kind of, I think this is pretty loose. Unless they have a Bedlam Reveler they just want to like pound out. But like they don't have anything to bring back and they just blew off a Manamorphose, which is one of the better cards. I'm about to surgical this shit out of some Arclight Phoenixes. My opponent's deck does not work. That's why I don't think this Phoenix deck is very good. I think if you want to be like a Xerox spell deck, I think the Death Shadow is just better. Because like you're just so e it's so easy to disrupt you if you want to. And I, I'm not even sure how quick your Goldfish is. All right, new. So let's see how they boarded. They didn't go big, so I'm not going to bring in Snapcaster Mages for game three if there is one. Another Surgical. Okay. I'm going to hold that. I'm just going to play two shadows. And if they like go to bolt one, because I can use my surgical to mess up their scries as well if they lead on serum visions. Okay. And they've got one Bedlam Reveler left. They have two things. What would they leave on top? 
Like a Bedlam Reveler is annoying, but we can kill it. I don't really know what's that bad for us at the moment. I basically just want to use this Surgical Extraction, I think, to counter Lightning Bolt. I guess I use it. I use it now. I guess there's there's no there's just not really a point to doing that though. Like I don't want to throw away. I shouldn't have done that because I want I want to fetch here. Going about um. Put on top because it's going to lead to a lethal attack next turn. Because I can deal ten more with these next turn. Again, like I just kind of want my opponent to tap mana on their turn, because if they tap mana, then they're gonna like, then they're just dead. If they don't impact the board, and I just don't want to get cheesed. They're opting for a good time. Swiss Spear. So 10. We can deal ourselves 6, 9, which makes this shadow one short of lethal, but they have to chump. Nine. No, they're just dead. Because this is three points. The surgical makes it 16. All right. Got him. Two and one. After being a dumbass in one late in one match, so hopefully we can win the next two. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of interested in playing my sweet cube deck from the holiday cube. Like, look at this. This thing is sweet. It's like a blue, it's like a blue black artifact deck with a little bit of artifact synergy that also um it's got like a little bit of ramp, like to Ugin. It can reanimate. It's got like uh, artifact synergies with Tinker and Basalt Monolith, but also Jace. Like, I turned one Jace in one of my games. That was nice. Oh, I forgot to read. I forgot to join the queue. I like my, my cube deck suite. 57 people. I really hope. I really am glad you're all here. I hope you're having a good Sunday. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If uh, you want to support me more, head over to my YouTube page, which is linked below. All of my videos are archived there. All the videos from today will be on there. Um, I don't know. I might do a cube draft if the chat would want that to happen. I might finish my cube after if the chat's cool with that. But I don't want to lose. I don't want everybody to leave. Don't ditch me. All right, let's go. Oh, uh, we're going to keep. Our hand's not great, but like, if you're gonna put it, if you're gonna see as many cards, you can't mulligan hands when you have these many cards to look at. We know what we're looking for. We're looking for a threat or interaction, so I'm okay serum visioning on one. We don't want either of these.
Like, I don't like Serum Vision on one, but our hand just kind of needs everything. Okay, we're playing against Ad Nauseam. Do the Ad Nauseam players, like, do they have two ways to win, or can we just, like, discard spell and kill them here? MTG Goldfish. They probably have two ways to win, especially since, like, Meddling Mage became a thing. All right. Um, I probably should have played my... I'm going to continue to cantrip, but I'm going to lead it up with a discard spell here. We don't need either of these. Right, I mean, do these decks ad nauseum? <coughs> I want like a deck list. Ad nauseum deck. All right, it looks like they all have the lab maniac. So I'm going to take the serum visions. And then next turn, I'm going to discard spell and get nasty. And then hopefully that's enough of a clock. They put a card on the bottom. Yeah, I just looked it up. All right, opponent, what are we doing here? Why are we just chilling out on my upkeep? But to be fair, I probably shouldn't. All right. Get rid of this ad nauseum. And then we get nasty. Leave the serum visions. In case we need to do something more here. Like, we have another discard spell. I would love to find a stub to be able to harass this Lotus Bloom. They put a card on top, so let's see what it is. They put Phyrexian Unlife on top of their deck. I guess we discard this. I'm actually going to Thought Scour them, because that slows us down a considerable amount. Oh, that was stupid. I should have left this open. Now I'm going to draw Death Shadow and feel like a dumbass. Okay. All right, leave this in my hand. And now that we have sufficiently picked them apart... We can just chill, and we have, we have two, we have two ways to kill a lab maniac if that comes up. They put a card on top. Okay, so we don't know what they drew, but they have they would have had to draw perfects there, here and to kill me, like their draw step would have had to have been. Um, Combo piece, and then the other the card they just put on top has to be combo piece. They don't have that, we lose. But they didn't play their lands. Oh, wow, they hit it. Wow, they didn't do the Angel's Grace. Packed, packed. Okay, triple packed. So now they're just looking for an angel's grace. You're dead. Okay. All right. So against this deck, um, I'm a fan of the artifact removal. I like surgical extraction. 
I basically like all, I think all of my counter spells are pretty good. So we might just be cutting like all of the top end. Like we might go like cut this. We probably don't need Battle Rage. Um, I doubt we need Snapcaster Mage. We don't need Fatal Push. We don't need Lightning Bolt. It all just comes down to is Liliana better than Snapcaster Mage? And I think that Liliana is not better than Snapcaster Mage. Because Rejection hits Lotus Bloom and Pentad Prism, which is eight cards. It's like, are they better than the Shocks or the Shatters? Is Liliana better than the Shatters? Another question. Do I need both Gurmag Anglers? I'm going to cut an Angler, and I'm going to cut in a Braid and bring in two Lilianas. Because sometimes they sideboard into, like, an L um, a Gifts package, or they bring in, like, um, or they bring in, like, Supreme Verdict. Whoa. I think that's wishful thinking, right? Because they've already got triple packed by that time. All right, we're in trouble now. My hand doesn't work. My whole hand doesn't work. My hand kind of works. Um, I probably actually don't want to draw these two bobbles at this point in the game, but I do want to leave this one in to be delved. Watery Grave. All right. Jeez. All right, we're going to do the same thing where I'm going to hit this Mistress Bobble. I really want to leave Stubborn Denial out for the stupid, um, the stupid whatever it is. And then we're going to leave it in there. And then we're just going to chill out for the rest of the game, and hopefully this kills our opponent. Okay. We get Supreme Verdict in. I'm going to puke. We'll do that at the end of their turn. If Philly Boy here is snoring up a storm. I don't know if you can hear him chat, but we'll send you for a ride. Ready? Listen to the Philly snores. You have to tell me if you can hear this. I don't know if you heard it or not, but that's called finding a creative way to win. We got lucky that the shadow was on top, but. Okay. How to create a straw pull. Um, MTG bot commands. We're gonna make a. We're gonna start a straw poll here. What we want to do next? Okay.
All right, exclamation point straw poll. Okay, we're gonna make this straw poll here and it's gonna be cube, modern, or shadow. And shadow, it means you wanna keep playing Leagues of Shadow. If you wanna play a different modern deck, then write, then type, click in modern, and then I'll put another one there for a different deck. Maybe that'll work. No, I'm not supposed to put the comma after straw poll. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep. I need a threat, but it's got it's pretty good. Besides that, so I'm down. I'm down to do whatever. I'm going to not fetch. We are going to need a second land here. So hopefully we get to whack something. Ooh, we're playing the old Slim Shady Mirror. Dub. Our hand these. Okay. So now that we drew the second thought season, I'm going to start with it. I was actually going to see our envisions first because. I pretty much know what I'm going to take from my opponent. Then I'm going to take Snapcaster Mages or Redundant Threats. Oh, my opponent's hand sucks. I kind of just want to take Death Shadow, Stubborn Denial. And I think I'm going to. Because we have, we have the rest of what they're doing covered. My red card sucks, so I'm just not going to worry about it. If we pick modern, I think I'm going to play. Um, I think I'm going to play some fair decks. I don't know unless there's like people that are thinking about what else we'd want to play. Like I kind of want to play. I kind of want to play Jund. Um, I could play. I could play Infect. Um, Ironworks. Though that's a little tough to stream, so the, the content might not be quite as good. It's, I don't think it's good for them to do this unless they have a street wraith. I think it says Lucy Goosey. Um, or I could play the Phoenix deck. I actually haven't played a lot with the Phoenix deck, so that's probably like the number one to go up there. So we got a Gurmag Angler coming here. I really dislike their play. Yeah, I, I, I dislike this play all the way around from our opponent. Okay. We're going to wait because the shadow on top protects it from discard spells or removal. And we can control our life total with this dismember. Though, okay. So we know they have a bolt. Turn off auto. Oh, shoot. Turn, no, no, no. Turn off auto yields. Okay. Whew. 
So we're going to dismember this, because if they stub it, their last card in hand is Lightning Bolt. And now we are the last threat standing. We're probably not cycling this street rate. This street rate has ultimately become a dead draw. Yeah, I kind of want to play Phoenix. Um, but I could be talked into, you know, whatever. I could play the four color shadow deck. I mean, I've had, a, I've got kind of a meme build of four kind of four color shadow I wanted to do. We have a snap thoughtsies here. Okay. So if they bolt the shadow, then we just cycle Wraith. God, I'm so smart and thin. And then we just kill them on our turn. Bang. Ten you. Why not cycle? Two lightning bolts, anyways. Wasn't I tapped out, right? Like, there's nothing more that I could do with my mana. Again, we're going to board out an angler and all the red cards. I really feel like Dollar Shadow should be attacking. <laughs> my question was answered. Yeah, I like to hold my street race, especially when I can't do anything with my mana. It's kind of like how a lot of people will play Jace on Legacy. They like play Jace on four and then a Fate Seal because even if they brainstorm into stuff to do, they can't do anything with it. Wow, I'm just saying there's 62 of you, and there's nine people that have voted in the poll. That is very American ask. <clears throat> All right, we'll keep this. Again, we're looking to just keep any hand that functions. We're on the draw, which is gas. They have marshlands. That's an odd card to have. I think we're going to end up checking out with... Um, So if I stub this, they can't get nasty next turn. Oh, they can just get nasty anyways. Now we're just going to let it happen. I've committed. My opponent probably knows what's up now. I'm like, oh, you fetched and didn't do anything. I should have thought about I should have thought about it more. Nihil spell bomb. In 2019? You got it, dude. I'm going to get browned. Dude, I love Nihil's Spellbomb. It's so good in these shadow matchups. They take my Totsies. Yeah, you can you can do that all you want. My hand's not very good. My hand's really good. Um, 
start here. Actually, I'm going to take a land out of my deck. It's very, like, small ball, but, again, we're just going to get savaged if our opponent draws lands and we don't. Oh, we're in modern. Modern is winning the vote. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, we're going to leave the thought season in our yard. Modern is winning. And I'll put another poll out here. I probably should do it right now. So we're going to play a new deck. I've decided. No, because they're just going to spell bomb it, right? I love cookies. So, exclamation point, straw poll, jund, you are Phoenix, Phil, stop that, jund, blue red Phoenix, um, We can play John, Phoenix, KCI, or what other decks do I want to play in modern? We can play Hollow One. We're gonna play a new deck. We're doing it. Alright, let's So we're a little naked to a shadow, so we're gonna see our visions first. That might change. Ah, uh, Grixis is better. Tarmogoyf is very good right now. The problem is that I think Grixis is starting to supplant itself as maybe the best deck or the second best deck in the format. And that makes the Jun deck much, much worse. Okay. Honestly, we want both of these. But I think we want them in this order. God, don't do this kind of stuff, people. Alright, we're just going to go for the kill. We're going to play... Because our opponent's going to draw two cards. And if one of them... Okay. So now I have to answer both creatures. We have a Dismember on top, which even deals with a Shadow because we can kill it in combat. Oh, this is a good play. Let's do good hits from our opponent. We could play Legacy. I do kind of have a hurting to play some Legacy. Am I a terrible chat? Am I terrible if I just audible to legacy? You gotta impact the board. You need two perfects. You need like shadow push, shadow angler, shadow dismember. I mean that works. Okay, so I've decided if we play Modern, we're going to play Phoenix. But if we play Legacy, we're going to play a Grixis deck, Dees. I'm just going to assert, like, they can just do this just to see that they're dead. 
I'm not really good enough to play lands, and I should have Tim Schultz. I should Skype with Tim Schultz when I do that. We're going to play Grixis Control, because I really like playing that deck. I'm sorry that I did this to everybody. Okay. I lied to everyone. I'm a big, dirty liar. So let's go back over here to... We're either going to play Grixis Delver or Grixis Control. So let me go to MTG Goldfish. While I'm doing this, I can take some questions if anybody wants to, you know, chat about the deck or anything like 